So, hi class. Uh, we are going to start today our discussion on the second type of transistor, which is the field effect transistor. So, what is a field effect transistor? So, para rin siyang tulad ng BJT transistor, ito ay three terminal device. So, ang terminals niya would be gate, drain, and source. Or we have the G, D, and S. Okay? Now, it can be used for variety of applications. However, ang focus ng ating study or lesson would be for an FET used in an amplifier circuit. Okay? So, yung term na field effect, it actually relates to the depletion region form in the channel of an FET as a result of a voltage applied on one of its terminals. So this you are going to understand better when we are going to discuss na yung operation ng FET. So let us, uh, let me discuss first yung difference between ng BJT at saka ng FET so that we will be able to understand better these two transistors. So, yung BJT transistor is a current controlled device. So, if you are going to look at your screen in figure A, okay, so yan yung generic na block diagram ng amplifier uh, circuit. So, if you are a uh, common emitter ito ha, kasi ang input niya is at the base and the output is at the collector. So, ang ibig sabihin lang niya, pag sinabi natin current controlled, yung output current collector is actually controlled by an input current as well. So, pag i-recall natin, uh, we can actually see the relationship of, of these two uh, currents in the equation of beta wherein IC is equal to beta IB. So, ibig sabihin, IC is a, a function of IB. Now, ang JFET naman is, or FET actually in general, is a voltage control device. So, pag titignan naman, na, naman natin yung uh, figure 1, okay, uh, B, figure 1B, Ang input natin would be the voltage between the gate and the source terminal or VGS. At ang output natin is the current ID. Now, this ID is a function of the VGS. Okay? So, ang uh, controlling parameter natin would be the VGS at ang controlled parameter would be the drain current or ID. So, you will see later, based on an equation, the relationship of these two values, the ID and the VGS. But, it shows that the current or the output is actually being controlled by a voltage which is the VGS. Okay? So, next is uh, BJT transistor is a bipolar device. So, pag sinabi natin bipolar, bi means 2. Diba? So, uh, it means na yung conduction level is actually a function of two charge carriers uh, which are the electrons in the holes. While yung FET naman is a unipolar device. Uh, uni means 1. So, depende yun dun sa channel, yung type ng FET na na ginagamit. So, let's say, for example, if it's an N channel, yung conduction level niya is solely based on the electron. While for a P channel, sa hole naman. Now, for the advantages of FET over BJT, so there are actually several. Uh, one is yung input impedance of an FET is considerably higher than that of the BJT. So, this is actually an important characteristic sa design ng linear AC amplifier systems. Okay? So, next is in terms of uh, 
temperature changes, FET is more stable than that of the BJT. Okay, it is easier to fabricate as well and it dissipates lower power. So, um, there are several types of FET. First is the junction field effect transistor or we call it as a JFET. And then we also have the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or the MOSFET. Under MOSFET, we have the depletion um, type of MOSFET or D-MOSFET. And we also have the enhancement MOSFET or E-MOSFET. And then we also have the MESFET, which is the metal semiconductor field effect transistor. And then there is another type, which is the um, IGFET. Okay? So however, in our discussion, we will only focus on the JFET and the MOSFET. Okay? So the MOSFET transistor, uh, because of the advantages uh, enumerated above, Okay, so ito yung most important device na ginagamit in the design and construction of um, ICs okay, for digital computers, mga microprocessors ng digital computers. Okay? Now let's take a look at the JFET schematic symbols. Okay. So we have uh, two types of FET just like I, I have mentioned a while ago. We have the N channel and we have the P channel. N channel JFET, ito uh, yung kanyang schematic symbols. Okay? Uh, schematic symbols. So, pag titignan mo, yung may arrow dun sa gate na terminal and it is paloop kung N channel siya. Pag P channel naman siya, so yung arrow would be in the opposite direction or that is palabas. Okay? So that would be the schematic symbols of JFET. Now on your screen, you have the basic uh, construction of a JFET. So if you're going to look at uh, figure A and, and B, um, those are for N channel in figure A and then figure B is for the P channel. Now, if you're going to look at the, sa end channel na lang tayo mag-focus, ah, kasi halos pareho rin naman sila, okay? So, for, for the end channel, if you're going to look at the channel, two terminals are actually connected to that. Uh, at the upper end, we have the drain, and then at the lower end, we have the source. And then, for the two P materials, they are connected together to the gate terminals okay so sa pag p channel jfet naman it's the other way around of course now to illustrate yung operation ng jfet looking at the figure on your screen yung nasa left side okay so it shows there uh, dc bias voltages applied to the N channel device. Okay? So, kung P channel yan, babalik ta rin lang natin yung, ano, yung mga biasing voltages. Okay? So, explain ko yung operation based on an N channel. Okay? So, yung VDD na yan, so, tignan, na, tignan nyo yung VDD. Okay? So, that VDD will actually provide a drain to source uh, voltage. Okay? So, it supplies current from drain to source. So, yung VGG naman dyan, okay, yung another source dyan, so it will set the reverse bias voltage between the gate and the source. Okay, between the gate and the source. Now, a JFET um, is always operated with the gate source PN junction reverse bias. So, if you notice, dito sa ating uh, screen or sa figure on your left, yung negative polarity ng ating VGG is connected to the uh, P material and the positive is connected to the N, okay, N material. Okay? So, reverse biasing of the gate source junction um, produces
causes a depletion region along the PN junction. Okay? So, kung titingnan mo dun sa um, figure A or dun sa right side na figure, okay? Yung reverse bias voltage na yan, okay, just like what I have mentioned a while ago, it will actually produce a depletion region along the PN junction which will extend into the end channel. So, kung napapansin nyo, di ba, dun sa, sa figure natin, merong white dyan. So, et, yan yung depletion region. Okay? Yan. Produce in uh, the PN junction, dun sa reverse bias PN junction, at nag-extend dun sa end channel. So, yung, yung width niya, ano yung mapapansin mo dun sa width nung, nung ating channel. Okay? Or yung depletion region natin dun sa channel. So, yung channel width niya uh, hindi pare-pareho, di ba? It has a varying um, area. Parang ganon. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, it is actually wider toward the drain and dun sa baba okay mas narrow or na narrower tama ba yan narrower okay so yan and that is actually due to yung varying the gate voltage so to understand better yung ating uh, yung operation nung JFET. Okay, let's try to look at the JFET drain characteristic curve. Okay? So, let me just introduce yung mga labeling na nandito sa ating uh, graph or ating characteristic curve. Okay, dito sa ating vertical axis, we have the drain current ID and we also have here the IDSS. Okay? Um, Ang IDSS is actually the maximum current uh, na pwedeng ma-reach nung ID natin. Okay? So, IDSS is constant and it can actually be seen in um, the specification sheet of a particular JFET. Okay? So, dito naman sa horizontal, we have the VDS. So, ang VDS is the voltage from the drain to source. Okay? And then, we also have this uh, VP. Ano naman tong VP? This is actually the pinch of voltage. And what is a pinch of voltage? This is actually defined as the value of the drain to source voltage, okay? or it is the value of the VDS, okay? at which the drain current, okay? or ID, drain current ID, becomes constant when the gate to source voltage is zero. So, kaya nga kung titignan natin itong curve na to, di ba? Uh, when the VDS is in between zero to VP, okay, VDS is in between zero to VP, ang current natin na ID will increase gradually, okay? And then, pag yung VDS natin, na-reach na niya yung pinch of voltage. By the way, yung pinch of voltage, ha, that's also a constant which can be seen in a spec sheet of the JFET. So, kung na-reach ni VDS na yung value ng VP, whatever that value is, and then, ibig sabihin, uh, mag-start na ngayon na mag-constant din yung value ng ID. And that ID is equal to the maximum uh, current na IDSS. Okay? At this particular period as well, okay, ito yung tinatawag na natin na saturation level. Okay? Wherein the VGS is equal to 0 volt. Ayan. So, that is the, the uh, JFET drain characteristic curve. Now, there, uh, parang doon sa PJT rin, there are also regions of JFET operation. We have the cutoff region. 
So, it is understood that the transistor is off. So, walang conduction na nangyayari dito sa cut-off region na to. Okay? ID is equal to 0. Now, that is for VGS greater than that of the pinch of voltage. Okay? So, yung active region naman, so this is when the transistor is on. So, ito yung, con yung focus ng ating uh, JFET operation in uh, or as um, an amplifying device. Okay? So, the transistor is on. So, if you are going to look at the formula below, okay, dito na natin makikita yung relationship ng controlling parameter at saka yung controlled parameter. Okay? So, yung controlled variable or parameter is actually yung ID at ang controlling uh, variable is the VGS. So, we said a while ago na JFET is a voltage controlled device because its output current ID is being controlled by whatever the value of your VGS is. Siyempre, dito sa formula natin na Shockley's equation, ID is equal to IDSS multiplied by 1 minus VGS all over VT, VP quantity squared. Okay? IDSS and VP are constants. Okay? Just like what I have mentioned um, a while ago. So, it can be seen in the spec sheet. of operation for JFET is the ohmic region. So, in this ohmic region, the transistor is on, but it behaves as a voltage-controlled resistor. So, pwede siyang maging variable resistor yung ating um, JFET in this region. So, you can see on your screen the formula to compute for the resistance. Okay? We have RD is equal to RO what is RO? This is the resistance when the VGS is equal to uh, 0 volt, okay? Which can actually be seen in the spec sheet as well. And then, of course, you're familiar with the VP. And then, yung VGS, so ito yung nagko-control ulit ng value ng resistance in this uh, ohmic region. So, syempre, nagbavary siya depending on the value of the VGS. So, on your screen, you have there the transfer curve of a JFET, okay? So, pwede mong ma-determine itong transfer curve. By the way, yung transfer curve, ito yung nasa left. Yung drain characteristic is yung nasa right. Now, yung drain characteristic, parang yung ano, yung, yung explain ko sa inyo kanina, ha? So, uh, may, pwede mong ma-determine yung or ma-trace yung transfer curve mo based on your drain characteristic as shown on your screen. However, pwede mo rin naman siyang i-determine uh, yung mga points dyan using your uh, Shockley's equation. Or yung ID is equal to IDSS multiplied by 1 minus VGS all over VP quantity squared. Okay? So, let me just explain lang itong transfer curve. Mag-focus lang tayo dito sa transfer curve. So, if we are going to interpret this one, so, it on, uh, ang sinasabi lang dito is that when ID, okay, is equal to 0, okay, yung ating VGS is equal to the pinch of voltage. Okay? Now, when our ID naman is equal to IDSS, then ang ating VGS is equal to zero. Okay? Those are the two extremes. Okay? Now, if you want to know um, the different points in between these two extremes, then all you have to do is to um, assign the value, a value of VGS in between 0 to um, 
VP and then calculate for the ID and then set or determine the points. And then after which, um, pagdududug, pagdudugtungin mo na lang yung, just connect the points na. Okay? So, parang ganon. So, that's how you're going to to determine yung transfer curve. Okay? Now, ulitin ko ha, for JFET, uh, ang maximum current lang niya na pwedeng niyang ma-reach is equal to that of the IDSS. Okay? Kasi meron tayong ibang FET na pwedeng lumampas. Okay? So, this is only true for JFET. Now, the next uh, thing that we're going to look into is the MOSFET, starting off with the depletion type. Yung basic construction ng MOSFET, um, tignan nyo na lang dun sa, sa book ha, basahin nyo na lang dun. But I'd like to um, explain na lang dito yung basic operation at characteristic ng, ng MOSFET. But then on your screen, you have there, of course, yung symbol ng N-channel at saka yung P-channel MOSFET ninyo. Okay? So, meron yung isa, may added na, na terminal dyan for, for both the N and the P-channels. Okay? Uh, which is denoted by SS. So, yan ay yung substrate or yung silicon substrate nung nung ating MOSFET but most often ang ginagamit na symbol is that yung nasa, ma, nasa baba okay? yung tatlong terminals lang yung may D, G, and S lang okay? again for N channel paloob yung arrow for P channel palabas now for the basic operation and characteristic of um D MOSFET or depletion type MOSFET you have there on the screen okay so anong mapapansin mo dun sa um, transfer curve or transfer characteristic ng D MOSFET okay so this is only true for N channel ha for P channel it's the other way around so for N channel okay parang ang working equation din natin dito is the ano the shockless equation okay so let me explain to you yung curve dun sa left on your screen the left side okay so again dito looking at the curve when your vgs is equal to the pinch of voltage which is for n channel ang pinch of voltage ay negative okay so kung p channel siya ang pinch of voltage mo is positive Okay, so um, going back, okay, so when your VGS is equal to the pinch of voltage, yung drain current natin or ID is equal to zero. But when your VGS is equal to zero, okay, the drain current is equal to that of the IDSS. Okay, however, if you are going to look at the curve, ang drain current natin can actually extend beyond IDSS. Okay? And in that case, ang VGS natin will have a positive value kung ito ay N-channel. Okay? So, for the positive values of VGS, the positive gate will draw additional electrons from the P-type substrate due to the reverse leakage current and it will establish new carriers through the collision resulting between the accelerating particles. So, ito yung tinatawag na enhancement mode ng uh, D-MOSFET. Okay? So, dun naman sa drain characteristic, hindi na lang tayo mag end dun sa VGS is equal to zero nga. Dahil it can, for an end channel, we can actually have a value of VGS, okay, which is positive. Okay, so that is the basic operation 
and uh, that's a characteristic of a demosphere. Uh, again, ang ating equation ay yung Shackley's equation. Okay? Next is we have the E MOSFET or the enhancement type MOSFET. So on your screen, uh, you have the symbol. Okay. So may counting difference lang symbol ng E MOSFET with the D. Okay. Pero may mga spaces. Magkikita nyo may mga spaces dyan. Okay. Uh, again, normally ang ginagamit na symbol is the symbol with three terminals lang yung nasa baba hindi na ini-include yung terminal for the substrate. Okay? So, for the e-MOSFET, paano naman yung kanyang um, character? Now, for an e-MOSFET, okay, or enhancement type MOSFET, um, hindi na yung Shockley's equation ang gagamitin natin for the computation of drain current or ID. So, we have a new equation which is on your flash on your screen and that is ID is equal to K multiplied by uh, VGS minus VT quantity squared. Okay? So, ano yung, yung VT na yan? So, that is actually yung threshold voltage. Okay? And then, K is a constant and can actually be be calculated. So, if it is not given, then you can calculate for K uh, using constant values and that is ID on all over the quantity VGS on minus VT uh, quantity squared. Now, etong values na to, yung ID on, tsaka yung VGS on, uh, they are actually uh, it can actually be seen in the spec sheet and of course pati yung threshold voltage na VT I mean san dun sa sa spec sheet uh, VT is actually VGSTH okay so yan VGSTH is equal to that of VT okay so this will be our working equation so kung ito ang ginamit of course um, to trace yung um, characteristic curve on your screen okay, na nakikita nyo ngayon dyan so it's a uh, different talaga, iba, iba yung characteristic curve niya compared to the first two yung JFET at saka yung uh, DMOSFET natin so dito, para lang siyang ano, uh, yung curve niya parang curve ng ng um, diode, diba? yung forward bias diode, okay uh, anyway, let me just explain so pag titingnan natin dito how do you interpret the curve, yung curve on the left ha, okay the curve in the left, it says here that when your VGS is lower than that of the VT then your ID is equal to 0 okay uh, however by the way, this is for N channel, ha? So, kung P channel yan, ang VT mo is negative. Okay? Pag N channel, ang VT mo is positive. Yung threshold voltage mo. Okay? So, dito. So, when your VGS is uh, greater than the threshold voltage, then you can actually see that the current will start to increase okay so yan and then the curve on the curve on the right is actually the drain characteristic naman of an emosphere okay so yan so those are the basic operation and characteristic of an FET starting with JFET with DMOSFET and E MOSFET Now, for the last three slides, so these are just problems, okay? Um, please try to solve this, starting with this one. Um, you will base your answer for, 
for this problem in the drain characteristic na ito. Okay? So, yan. And then, uh, on the last slide, uh, please try to solve what is being asked in um, the given problems. Okay? Um, ano lang to? Madali lang. Parang using yung yung Shockley's equation lang and the other equation for ID. Okay? So, I hope um, klaro na sa inyo, mas klaro na sa inyo yung, yung operation ng FET. Okay? And